We take an oath to protect and defend whatever the mission is, whatever we need, as President Kennedy said, fight any foe. But that's not the point of this. This is supposed to be a budget that prevents the spread of violence. Instead, they have a budget that stirs it up. Is she honestly comparing fighting any foe and a budget that John Kennedy had in his first year around $60 billion with one today north of $4 trillion and that not enough money is being spent? I'm t uh, fine. Uh, to retired Army Lieutenant General Thomas Spohr. General, if I'm hearing her at face value, what she is saying is that Republicans are inciting violence with a budget that is only at $4 trillion. That's kind of what I'm hearing. Yeah, it, it seems a very bizarre statement to make. I mean, what President Trump has proposed is to increase defense spending to a level which will help rebuild our military. And in the face of a shriveled, deteriorated military, it only seems like the prudent thing to do. And as opposed to stirring up violence, I think it'll have the exact opposite effect. You know, we always see a light of the hyperbole on, on both sides when it comes to budget time, uh, General, so that doesn't surprise me. What does is... Uh, the unwillingness just to look at the math behind this, that we, we, we spend a lot more than we take in. I mean, that is a problem, I, I think, for economic security and down the road for national security. But the preference for building up the military now uh, is, is deemed a non-starter for Democrats. What's your take on where all of this is going? Yeah, I think they're not looking at the issue clearly. I mean, we have a military which is smaller now than it has ever been since World War I. The Army is smaller, uh, it's less ready, it's only one-third of our brigade combat teams are ready. We are short our ships and our Navy. Our Navy is smaller than it's ever been since World War II, and the average age of our Air Force aircraft is 27 years old. And so clearly, the military has been depleted over the last eight years and needs to be rebuilt. You know, uh, General, you can look at the, our expenditures and look at a, what, roughly $600 billion dollar annual commitment to defense and say, all right, well, surely there, within that budget, there must be room for better priorities before we commit more cash. Are you in the camp that says sort of a, you know, a, a, a top to bottom, bottom to top review of the expenditures so that we can see where this money really is going? You know, there's always room for reform in the military, especially in an organization that big. And so I would never be here to say that we can't find savings in the military. Having said that, they've been squeezed pretty hard over the last four years so that all the easy, low-hanging fruit has been pruned. And so now I think it's time that we really need to take a serious look at rebuilding our military. General, thank you very, very much for taking the time. I always appreciate it.